crazy Why you think you drive me crazy Every time I'm in your arms I'm just fine Can't even say forget this I'll just try it one last time I'm not sure of how you feel But baby, I wanna fall for you This, this, I wanna fall for you These feelings of distress got me bleeding out my chest. When do you think worrying will end? Never worry here again. It's alright. It's alright. Cause we've been off and on like crazy. Why you think you drive me crazy? Every time I'm in your arms, I'm just fine. Can't even say forget this or just try it one last time I'm not sure of how you feel, but baby, I wanna fall for you I wanna fall for you filming our Q&A a little bit later today so that is going to be the rest of this video um, if you're not interested in the Q&A you can click out now um, I'm not gonna have too much time in between this video and the next one so that if you were not interested in this video um, one of my regular uploads will be up soon and you won't really have to like wait too long for another regular video um, and yeah, I included a workout from a few weeks ago that we did when Emily Hayden was in town for the New York Pro. Um, we all got a lift in at Bev's. Figured it would be a good time to post that workout because it's kind of like a couples Q&A, couples workout type video. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys um, enjoy this video and the Q&A. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Why do you keep putting it directly towards you like an a-hole? Hold it down. Oh, there we go. Are you ever planning to do online training or become online coaches? Not me. So I want to possibly become certified, but I don't know if I'll ever do one-on-one -on -one client training. I think I might do like a guide or something like that instead um, because being a personal trainer, you're not, you don't have the ability to be doing diets and I think that's what people don't get so if I was to take one-on-one -on -one clients I wouldn't be able to do your nutrition as well and I think that's what a lot of people expect so I would probably if I did become certified and do something like that I would just do like a guide or like a program type thing that's not like super one-on-one -on -one. yeah definitely not me yeah, I, I don't know if I can do one on one. I mean, maybe I'm not gonna completely count it out, but <sighs> that I was planning on doing that, but I it's a lot more than you expect. Kind yeah. of. What's Anthony's job? What's Anthony's job? Uh, so I currently uh, am in a sales role. I work for uh, ATM and infrastructure service provider. Uh, most of you don't know what that is. I barely know what it is. <laughs> um, but uh, basically, my company services and repairs. Uh, ATMs, computers, basically all the technology that's in a bank, uh, and I'm out essentially, you know, external sales to bring in new clients and essentially, you know, find new banks for us to service. So, uh, not the um, not the most fun job in the world, but better than mine. Pays the bills. 
Have you always been into fitness or did you both get into it together? I think we got into it together. Uh, I guess. Like, so got into I it. I think, I, yeah, we, we like jumped in both feet together. Uh, Paige was more of a cardio runner type of a fitness girl and I played sports my entire life. So I guess we've always yeah. been active and, you know, doing fitness related things, but in the fitness industry, you know, from the diet to cardio yeah, to training, whole, you know, putting the whole thing together, we definitely kind of got into it yeah. together. I couldn't do it without you. Yeah. What's your ultimate goal in fitness? And then in parentheses, competing, becoming a pro, coach, etc. cetera. Um, definitely to become a pro um, in terms of competing. I don't really know like what else besides just always sustain this lifestyle and help project it onto others, I guess. Yeah. I, think I like I don't really have like a, a main goal. I think it's besides becoming pro, that that's a, like a set goal that I do have. Sure. Um personal goal. But yeah. I think you're more in it for the helping of others and yeah. educating people and it's more of a feel good thing now that you can impart your wisdom on others, you know. Uh for me, yeah. goals in fitness, uh I guess it's gonna kinda answer another question that's coming later on, but I, I do plan to compete. Uh don't have a finite show set up yet, but uh, I will be competing. Uh, ultimately, you know, if I do love it, the, the plan would be to stick with it and become a pro eventually. Um, and hopefully kind of, uh, I don't know if any of you follow me out there, but my <laughs> following is significantly less impactful than pages right now, but I am, you know, kind of trying to force myself to, you know, put out what I know and I have become quite knowledgeable over the last couple of years that I've been in this and if I can help even one person a day, uh, it's kind of where I want to take the fitness thing and you know, ultimately uh, compete and try to you know, yeah. eventually get a fully established career in the fitness industry. I think that's my yeah, biggest goal is to, to work, and I don't know what capacity that will be at, but right. work in the fitness industry whether that's from a business perspective or not or as an athlete. but. Yeah, I'd like to uh, to establish a career and uh, hopefully establish some longevity there. Right, we're gonna move to Instagram. Maybe I'll maybe start a clip. We're gonna get some juicy ones. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna say names for some because. Okay. So like Katie Blanche asked, when are you coming to Colorado? We love Katie Blanche. We do. Um, okay. I guess. Well, so, I'll let you answer this no, one. No, you. Me. Uh, Katie, we will be in Colorado sometime between, I want to say, so June 26th, 27th, and the 30th or so. Um, I guess it's going to answer probably a lot of the questions we had. Yeah. But uh, Paige and I officially, officially, officially are moving to California. Uh, we're leaving here, we're leaving New York the end of June. Uh, I think we're shooting for the 25th to be the day that we start our journey. And... Denver is certainly yeah. probably the highest, at least for me, on the list yeah. of places that we want to visit. Um, more details about that. I think by the time this video is out, actually, uh, we're gonna. I'll probably make a. We'll make a, a public yeah. announcement. But yeah, Katie, expect us sometimes and uh, sometime in that range, and we certainly will be uh, trying to meet up with you. When did both of you guys start becoming interested in fitness? Um, again, I think we've like always kind of been active and like fit, but what would you say, like a year and a half? I'd say like, like you said, you know, kind of uh, touching on before, dove in with both feet about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Like bodybuilding as a hobby or as a more or less a passion now. Yeah. Really the last Probably. year and a half we kind of just dove in and, and there's no looking back now. How did y'all meet? How did y'all meet? Uh, frat party. Frat party, yeah, I guess from a <laughs> high level frat party, college. Oh, God. Uh, we met at the end of freshman year, and mm. I guess you could say the rest is history. Uh, Stacy, why aren't you guys here already? <laughs> <laughs> We're coming, three, Stace. Three more weeks. We're coming. Three weeks, so you'll see us in about four. Wow, less That's than a month. Crazy. Oh, geez. Um. Does he compete? If not, how did he feel about your decision to compete? I was over the moon, thought it was the coolest thing in the world. I'd like to believe I'm part of the reason that Paige actually considered competing yeah. um, yeah. outside of one of her coaches. Um, I always thought that she had a knack for it, she had the body for it, but just she was like, oh, you know, I don't want to be a beefy bodybuilder. Also, I said I couldn't handle the diet. Yeah, that so 
she proved herself wrong yeah. and I'm super proud of her. Um, and I answered this before, but yes, yes. I do plan to compete myself. Uh, might be sooner than y'all think. Um, Holly, how are you angels so perfect? <laughs> <laughs> She's an angel. Oh God, we love you, Holly. Yeah, we love you, Holly. I'm not gonna answer that one. Um, yeah, far from perfect. Um, Pat Nash, do you guys snowboard? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Bobby, these are all just like, these are all people. <laughs> Was Tony in love with you at first sight? True or false, Tony? Hmm. So first sight, it was probably poetry class, right? Yeah. Probably. I don't know about. I don't know about. Oh, well, you say probably. <laughs> no, I'm saying I, probably poetry. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't know if we were in love first sight, but I think the first time we actually hung out was like, damn, I'm head over heels, game over. <laughs> <laughs> when is he popping the question? Since y'all are clearly soulmates. Uh. I'm not really Don't concerned. take this the wrong way. Yeah. Not anytime soon. Uh, I think Paige and I are mature enough in our relationship. We kind of know where we're at. This is the one. She ain't going anywhere. And uh, we just have a lot, a lot of things on our plate and a lot of things that we need to accomplish before we really, yeah. quote unquote, settle down. And I just think that it's it's not the end it's all be all a, no. now. It's not, you know, going to change who we are and how we go about our relationship. And it's it's just not really on the a top priority list for us yeah. right now. I mean, I don't I don't feel the need to rush into it because it's not going to change anything yeah. besides be probably a financial burden that we don't need right now. She'll get a ring eventually. So, guys, um, so. yeah, I'm really not concerned. I'm not like rushing it. I'm not going to get like salty. Um, yeah. However yeah. long it takes, I don't really mind. I know. You're lucky. <laughs> um, oh, another. Is Tony uh, ever going to compete? Yes. Um, are you guys going to stay living in New York? P.S. Can't wait to no. meet y'all soon. Yeah, so we answered that. No, we're not. Uh, we are California bound. Crazy. Um, what's your favorite thing to do together outside of fitness? <laughs> oh, God. Eat. Literally, eat and like nothing. Yeah, you like literally I mean? nothing. Like do nothing. Just like sit, sit on, on the couch, couch and just do nothing. Just lounge. Yeah, yeah, we're not. We don't party. We don't really go out much. And if we do, it's out to eat. And yeah. Go home. I think eat burgers is go probably home. our favorite thing to do when, when we're just not fitnessing. How did prep affect your relationship? How did he deal with your hanger slash help you out when you needed it? I don't think prep affected our relationship at all. I no. think I was as encouraging as I could be. Although you know, you got a little snappy here and there and. I'm kind of in that world Hello, right now yeah. on, a, on a low carb diet, but yeah, a little uh, salty. Yeah, I, I think I just tried to. I l actually, I'll say this: I learned to not be harsh. So I'm a very critical person. I, you know, I, as like I said, I play sports my whole life, so I try to be like overly critical and harsh sometimes. And I realize that that's not Paige's. You know, yeah, she doesn't react the best to that. So uh, once I figured that out after getting, you know. Uh, the look <laughs> a few times uh, I realized I had to take a softer approach but I, at the end of the day Paige handled prep week like a freaking champ and I'm uh, I'm hoping to kind of do the same when I get to my peak week I mean yeah you were like really helpful like he would help me cook and prep and stuff like that and like bring um, food to work for me and stuff if I didn't have the time to cook or prep before work he would like drop it off so like he was really helpful with all that which was amazing what did you both major in in college? Biology. Business. <laughs> Fucking biology. Yeah, I was sick. Um, how did you guys meet? We already answered that. And what are your favorite things to do together? We already answered that. Um, We're pretty boring. We literally are. Fitness is the best part of our lives For right real. now, truthfully. It really is. It's the best part um, of the day. And I don't know. It really is. Yeah. Downtime is the only other positive. When you both go to the gym together, do you end up doing the same workouts and or training together, or do you just do your own thing? I think it's a mixture of both. It kind of goes through phases, right? Yeah. Well, like, sometimes we don't really get to work out at the same time that often. Recently yeah. we have because you're working from home, yep. but like, for the most part, I would just go when I could go and he'll go when he can go. Um, if, we're, if we happen to be going to the gym together and working the same muscle group, we usually will work out together. Yeah. And yeah, I, I think it goes well. It's not like we have like we have the same training style and 
Yeah, Paige like trains we... like a freaking man, is what she's saying. <laughs> um, I, I've taken a liking to kind of playing yeah. coach lately. So yeah, I like fun. that too. I like having someone to like push me because I I'm like a loner. I do it all like on my own. Um, not saying I like go less hard when I don't have someone pushing me, but it's like nice to have yeah someone. And just for everybody you. to know, Paige does push me as well. Yeah. Even if it's I just do. watching her freaking really get after it, it's it's inspiring to me. And and we always have great workouts when we do work yeah, out we together. Really do. So yeah. Awesome. I know some guys like will not work out with their girlfriends. So. Yeah, well, you're not annoying. So. <laughs> Do you want to get married? Yes. <laughs> Do you guys? Did you guys go to college? If so, where? Um, we kind of answered that, but we. Well, we didn't say where. Yeah. No, yeah, but we went to SUNY Plattsburgh, um, in upstate New York. Yeah, state school, cheapest available option. Yeah. It was about six hours from where I live, about three hours, well, two and a half hours yeah. from where Paige used to live. Yeah. The best part about college was meeting Paige, for me at least. How long have you two been together? Five years. Boy, five years dating I now, right? I think five, yeah. For, uh, we've been dating for five years now, and kind of six and a half Our years of being, you know, attached at the hip, so. Were you both already into lifting when you met? Like, not really. We did our own, like, fitness thing, I guess, but yeah. it wasn't ever, like... Yeah, not really. Yeah. Um, outside of the gym, what do you do for fun? Nothing. Eat, go on Eat, dates, and, and rest. Yeah. What was the furthest trip you guys have taken together? Uh, like California. I guess, guess yeah, Lake Tahoe probably. But I just don't. They mean driving. They mean flying. I don't know. The longest drive was probably to school from Long Island, a six-hour drive. Maryland. Oh, that's right. That is right. Hello. What was that okay. eight hours? So our longest driving trip was yeah, eight hours. Soon to be fucking. Soon to be 40 70s. hours, but yeah. Um, and then longest plane ride vacation trip was to Lake Tahoe, California from New York. Yeah. How did you get into competing? Did you just seek out a trainer or was it something that kind of happened once you started pro progressing? Kind of both. Um, my trainer did plant the seed in my head that I sh should be competing. Um, actually, like the first time we ever worked together. But I was still doubting, kind of like, nah, I can never do that. Um, and then... Yeah, I guess like once I started to see more progress and kind of could see what my body could do, I was like, you know what? Maybe I will. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it was a little bit of both. Question for you both. What would your dream jobs be? Like, I don't know exactly what the actual job would be, but I just want a job that allows me to wake up happy every day going to work or doing work or whatever. Like, I don't want to wake up miserable dreading life and waiting for the weekend or like waiting for the day I don't have work. I want to like enjoy every day of work. Um, I don't know exactly what that would ever be, but along with enjoying what I'm doing, I want to have some type of job that helps others. So we'll see what, yeah. that, what that is. I don't um, really know. Yeah. For me, I, I spent a lot of my, I know I'm in sales, I said I'm in sales now, but I did spend a, a good majority of my career in business development role and <laughs> I guess I'm sort of a business nerd and I'd like to, in the fitness industry, help to grow and build a company kind of from the startup level, from the ground up. As a couple, what would you say a goal of yours within the next five years or less, less would be that you want to achieve? Uh, I think it keeps going back to establishing like yeah. fitness careers and five years from now I want to have both of us to have sustainable incomes that allow us to travel and go to trade shows and do yeah. all the things that you know we want to do in the fitness industry allow us to compete at a very very high level um, I think ultimately yeah. both of us chasing an Olympia stage I don't know five years is feasible but uh, yeah I think that's kind of the twofold yeah. thing that uh, in five years that I think we can achieve and just gotta keep grinding yeah is there a fitness related podcast that you listen to often for inspo um would you would you count andy as I think, fitness i think you uh yes and no his is more just entrepreneurial business but right. it he comes from a supplement company yeah. so i guess you could okay, say him. so andy Frisella's um mf ceo podcast i love that and gary v yeah and gary's not those are the fitness two. but gary is no, but my in, spirit animal yeah is, in general those are my two favorite like yeah. inspirational um, type of podcast. What are some good date ideas other than going out to eat? Like, uh, sit, like sit on the couch, make food together. Um, uh, gee, I literally don't know. Besides, movies, like maybe like go on a hike or something. 
you know, yeah, like maybe. Yeah, like, I guess, and that's fitness related for us. We'd be doing cardio. I guess, so. but. Um, yeah, we're not the greatest in terms of like doing cool things because we don't party, drink. I don't yeah. know if those are. Go to the beach, maybe, if you have a beach local. I don't know. Yeah, that could work. We're pretty boring people. <laughs> we really are, dude. Who said I love you first and how did the other person react? I definitely said it first. Yeah, I, I will throw it out there. I think uh, did. Um where were we? Oh, what what is your favorite food or meal or place to eat? So food or meal, burgers, sushi. That's probably my top two favorites. Like I like pizza and everything like that. Yeah, I think burgers and sushi. Or a dope steak dinner. No, yeah, I, too, I, I don't know. I've just been loving burgers lately. So well, that's because like we only get the one cheat. Yeah, and know? I know it's like the staple bodybuilder fitness person thing, but, but yeah, def real. definitely burgers and donuts. Burgers, sushi, donuts. Um, next question. Oh no, we had to, where, where our favorite places though. Oh, that too. Or where she said. Oh okay. Well, I guess we're saying uh, yeah. This place called Burgerology on Long Island in, in a town called Rockville Center, and I guess best donuts would be at Doology in the same town. <laughs> Um, or duck donuts, dude. Duck donuts were awesome. Those duck, were in Ohio. Those were crazy. For those who don't know, those were they crazy. were unbelievable. You could choose to have burgers or donuts for the rest of your life. Which would it be? Burgers. Burgers, without a single doubt. I yeah, because you know, there's nothing like a burger. Like nothing like a good burger. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. but in terms of donuts, like there's still like so many other amazing treats to have. I hate that. Why does it do that? Okay. How many grams of salt do you have per day? I don't know. Uh, well, salt isn't tracked by grams. Salt. It's don't tracked it by what milligrams, right? Yeah, Migs. Yeah, uh, and honestly, I have no clue. It's very um, high. Don't be afraid of sodium. Yeah. As I, long as you keep it consistent. Like I use pink salt on every meal. I just do I don't know like four to five cranks probably. Yeah. A little shaker thing. Um, why don't you live together? Live together? Yeah. We do. Well, we do. <laughs> we, have an we have an apartment together. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Ah. That was pretty good. Um, this is my first guys... real feature on the on the tubes. Yeah, besides for a workout. Sick. Um, yeah, but... you don't feature me all that often. Thumbs the shit off. Oh, <laughs> Smash that thumb up button <laughs> if you want to see more of oh, Anthony on pages YouTube. Oh my YouTube. god! And if you guys have any other questions, like. Um, if you didn't get a chance to ask one originally, or if you now have a question from our answers, um, comment below and we will answer. Paige will answer. Well, she won't let me touch it. You could type. <laughs> you could. <laughs> um, cool. Thanks. So yeah, well, hopefully you guys awesome. enjoyed that. Thanks for having some interest in us, guys. Yeah, I, uh, I appreciate it. Even me being kind of external to all this, it's it's super humbling that you know some of you actually care about what we do every day and. Thank you, Paige, for letting me on the show. Show, of course. All right. The show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously new okay. with this. I mean, All right. that's it for now. All right, thanks, we'll guys. We'll be back on our uh, cross-country road trip. Yeah, we're gonna try to vlog a lot of that, right? Yeah. Sweet. And you'll be there. No, <laughs> well, no way. <laughs> yeah. I can't escape from you there. Yeah. I can't. Uh. <laughs> You gotta let us, you know, six inches of separation, so. Oh, but, um, alright, cool. Alright, we'll Thanks, see you guys. guys next time. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, just get the hell off the yeah. page. <laughs> if not, X out. No, but I'm gonna try to upload a, another video not too far from this one, so that if you guys weren't really interested in this video and you kind of just come for my regular videos, then you won't have to wait that long, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. All right, so we forgot a question. So this is an important question that I liked. Uh, what is your favorite muscle group to train? Oh, this is so hard. I know, that's I like this one. one because it's so hard. I will say not legs. Um, legs wouldn't be my first choice. It was always chest because it was my strongest. So and now... Chest is actually one of my smallest muscle groups in terms of development, so I think that's my favorite again because I'm just trying to grow and bring it up. So, um, yeah, I think it's chest. Chest definitely. Chest. I like chest too, but I don't do it. I can't do it enough. Um, yeah. I get kind of 
Also love back though. Back yeah, see, mine's either back or shoulders. Yeah. But it's like I love training every muscle group. Besides abs, that doesn't really count. But like, well, I don't like legs that much. But back, I like training arms, honestly. I like chest. I yeah. love shoulders. I, I would train everything, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, I guess chest is definitely on the uh, on the forefront. I would probably say back or shoulders. I honestly can't choose. Those are my two two faves. So, I just yeah. love working out. Yeah, I forgot that question, and that's a that's a good. That's like a main one, yeah. That so, so I had to answer. So, bye for real. Thanks, y'all. Thank you.